there's like I have a bald spot in my eyebrow. How how do you get a bald spot in your eyebrow? How does that even how does that even happen? I don't shave my I, I mean I don't shave my eyebrows. I don't do anything. I just kind of ignore eyebrows. I've got a bald spot in one. Should I be worried about this? Is this the start of it? Is this am I going bald? So, do you think, as Linux users, that we're objectively correct? Do you ever think that we're in the right, you know? That maybe we're just right, and that all these people not using Linux, they're just wrong. Because I kind of feel like that a lot, and we'll talk about the reasons in a second, but um, one of the things, that, one of the problems I have, problems, should wrong word, problems, yeah, one of the things I have is that I kind of like, I don't want to be the Linux dude, you know? I don't want to bang on about Linux. I don't want to stall money, you know? I don't want to bang on about Linux endlessly and bore people. While at the same time, I see people, like, I see people using Windows, right? And they're using it, and they'll pop in a fucking ad in their start menu or some shit. Or it'll restart for an update. Or they want to turn off their laptop because they're going somewhere and Windows Update. And they can't, they, they can't close the lid because of Windows Update. And I'm like, you, what are you doing? Just don't put up with, just don't fucking do it. Just do not put up with that shit. You know, but uh, I feel like saying that I've become preachy and I'm like, well, I'm, I'm right. Like if you saw someone, right, if you saw someone who go, who, you know, a great example, like you see someone and they get a screwdriver, right? And they go, I'm going to unscrew this screw here. And they just start going, <laughs> it's not on screen. It's not, it's not working. And they're hitting themselves in the head with the screwdriver, right? You go, stop it. This is how you use a screwdriver. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you know, you would have no qualms with correcting incorrect behavior. If someone's doing something wrong, you're going, hey, dude, dude, look, you know, let me help you out here. Your life could be easier if you stop smacking yourself in the head with the screwdriver and just do this, do this, you know? Uh, you wouldn't feel, you'd feel like you'd help them, right? But as Linux users who want to work in society and who don't want to be Linux users, like who don't want to stall money up, you know? We're, uh, we just want to, we want to, we want to function and not be boring. We have to draw that fine line. We feel like we don't want to go on about Linux. We don't want to like do the hard sell of Linux because even other Linux users kind of go, oh, he's going on again, you know, when you try and convert someone. And at the same time, I don't believe in converting people. I'm a firm believer that if someone wants to use Linux, just let them come to it in their own time. They'll get here eventually. I've got a friend who's coming over today, actually, for me to load Linux off this memory stick onto here. This is, I got this from Virgin Media as is part of an ad, believe it or not, but I use it for distros. Anyway, um, don't know why I'm telling you that. Um, yeah, I just, you know, I'm going to stick it in. I'm going to put Linux on. He won't have to deal with Windows updates anymore. He won't have to deal with the random fucking crashes in the computers where it just stops because he's run out of RAM because he's got loads of RAM. Won't have that problem anymore because Linux, you know, um, this is, <laughs> this is all things that like straightforward fix. This guy's like, just like sick of seeing me happily using my computer trouble free and doing cool shit while he's stuck like, with his boring fucking start menu. And I haven't converted him. Eventually, he's asked me if he can have this on there. Um, and that's just what happens, you know, because I find this is not the first time this happened. Either. People end up coming to me for this because they see me using my computer. But uh, I don't want to bash on about it. I don't want to bang on about it. I don't want to be the guy that goes, oh, you know, you should be using Linux for that. Um, I, I am. I mean, I, I do it because I'm passionate about Linux. I'm passionate about the operating system I use because I feel like it's awesome. But then I'm ashamed I feel like I failed when I when I uh, when I have to say it, you know. And uh, and I just wonder how many of us feel like that. Should we feel? Are we in the wrong to want to like talk about Linux and get people to try it? Is that like I recently switched to brown bread, a bit better for me, and and tasty. And I thought I'd, I'd switch it. So I've been eating some Warburton's seeded brown bread, and that seems like the way to go. And I'm and I'm enjoying it. So everyone I'm talking, you should try brown bread. Brown bread's amazing. Brown bread's really good. And uh, if I was, and they're going, oh, maybe I should try brown bread. Maybe next time I go to the shop, I'll buy some brown bread. Thanks. Well, let's try some brown bread. And uh, that people don't have a problem with that. But if I go, you're using Windows. It's shit. You should use Linux. It's amazing. They're gonna, they're just gonna roll their eyes at me. They're gonna act like I'm being like uh, weird. Or they're gonna act, you know, they're gonna act, they're gonna act like I'm being <laughs> weird for going, like, like this is shit. You've got three. You've got, you've got three screens. You've got one. You've got a start menu and a bar. What, what is this about? What is this about? You've got a clock down here. What, 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 what is this for? You know, you start like like criticizing their computing choices, and because and like it's weird because a lot of people use Windows as a default, 
or Mac, not exclusive, as a default because that's what they've always used. So they just carry on using the thing they've always used. And they don't think of an option. But then when you talk to them about the other option, they're like, oh my God, he's going on about it. And it's like, are we? Are we going on about it? By like, I'm recommending brown bread because it's really tasty and I've had a great time with brown bread. Is that different to me recommending Ubuntu? Antigos? Um, is, is it any different? Um, now, I don't encounter many Macintosh users. I, don't, I mean, I live in the UK. Macs aren't as prevalent in the UK as they are in the States. Um, so I don't see many wild Mac users. Um, but the few I have met have gone, you should try Mac. It's much better than Windows. And I go, I don't use Windows. And they go, hooray! You know, um, it's, this, it's this weird mutual respect for doing it a bit different, you know? I'm like, I'm like, you're a bit you're a bit corporate with your expensive computer that doesn't do a lot in it. And they're like, you're a bit geeky with your Linux. It's, program it and use a command line you know but we basically both agree that not using windows is a viable alternative um but i don't think out many of them i don't count many mac users. that's the standard conversation with mac user i don't know but uh either way i find it easier in my very limited experience i have found it easier to recommend a linux to recommend linux to a mac user than i have to recommend linux to a windows user because the mac user is already doing things outside of what is considered to be mainstream they already know that there's value in looking outside of the mainstream and uh, i don't feel i don't get the vibe that i'm boring a mac user by going did you try linux on that or or use this free software you're on you're on a mac i'm on linux this is a project that works on both you could use this whereas if i say to a, like a windows user goes i really want to I don't know, rip a dvd make an mp3 i want to do something and i go i know you can pay 5.99 to get a license for that windows application but I can use FFmpeg to do that for free. And they go, like I'm off again. Like, and, re and then the Mac user will go, oh, this is fun. Let's try that then, you know? Um, I just wonder if this narrative is something that you guys have encountered. Because as you know, with the bazaar, I try and, I, I try and ask questions and, and have conversations. That's the, the point of the videos. I say it every week. It's the point of the new users, for the new users, you know? So yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm just sort of like asking this question here is, is this is this is this a thing? Is this a thing? Should do you feel when you talk about Linux like you're being you're being pushed back against like people pushing against using Win like Windows users are pushing against Linux? Is that the way you feel? I know as Linux users we push against Windows real fucking hard. I get that. I know we do that. But is the true opposite? Because that's what I've encountered. That's the thing I think I've encountered. And is them pushing against Windows laziness because they don't want Linux to win? win you know they don't want Linux to become more popular because then they might have to learn something new or do they genuinely believe their product is better and they're pushing against us because they think we're wrong is that a thing you know is that a thing that we're encountering or i'm encountering in the world is that something that something that's actually happening or an imaginary scenario i don't know is the answer um anyway but i'd like your opinions on it like like did you find yourself when you was a windows user because most let's face it not many linux users have always been linux or unix users we've all come to linux from something else so when you was on windows or your previous operating system did you feel like you was annoyed by linux and then when you get to linux are you annoyed by other people being annoyed by your Linux use, you know? And and is it just something, is this, I mean, I, obviously this is me overthinking things and, you know, this is obviously a case of me thinking about this topic way more than most people will do on a day-to-day -day basis. But I think the times of people that are going to watch this video probably also overthink things. Um, and that's kind of, you know, why I can ask you these questions. But yeah, like I was happy yesterday when I got a Steam, I got a Steam survey. I, you know, I like literally it was weird actually because someone else, I think Hamish told me he had one the day before. So it was weird that I got a Steam survey because I was like, oh, I've got a Steam survey. I can cast my vote for Linux, you know? Um, I was well excited about that. And I just wonder, do Windows users get excited about Steam surveys because they're casting their vote for the operating system? Probably not. But then they're bored of us talking. I don't know. I don't know. This is a, cir this is a circular babble I'm in now. But I do think it's interesting. Definitely. An interesting talk to have. Yeah, guys. So, like, I know I, I, I know that I haven't done this bit at the end for a while. And I'm not going to talk about a book. But recently, I had a game changer, right? Recently, I got a CRT. It's about there. Look, I put a whole desk there just for the CRT. Um, and i got to say, guys, like, playing, like, retro games on a retro console, like, playing, re playing Sonic on a CRT, it's fucking mind-blowing. It's so good. Like, genuinely, it's awesome. There's something like retro games are better 
on a retro screen. I'm looking forward to throwing like fucking some video software on there and watching the watching old episodes of Seinfeld on there. Um, there's there's something amazing about it. and this is nostalgia. Like wanting a CRT to play games on is the most fucking pure nostalgia like delusion ever because it shouldn't. There's nothing about it that's better. But then you've got that glow, that neon glow that comes off CRTs. And while you've got that neon fucking glow on CRTs, you've got that super high refresh rate. You've got that fuzzy image that makes the games look so much. Like, you can't replicate that CRT filter. I know CRT filters go and stuff, but that like they just put grids on shit. And that's not how a CRT looked with, with real life eyes. And man, man, it's just, it's just so good. It's just so enjoyable. So I'm going to make a video like next week or something about how I set that bad boy up with um bad boy. Look at me all over. And how I set that up with uh, with retro arch and stuff on there. So I can just load it up and play old games. And it's badass. Um, but yeah, wow, guys. Seriously, if you someone's throwing out a CRT, snag it. Throw a Raspberry Pi on there. It's awesome. Can't recommend it enough. Just wanted to bang on about that at the end of this video. That was just that was just the ending. <laughs> so thanks for watching. I'll be next. Bye.